too. So this is primarily a Mayajima system. So let's start at the very front. These are the first time uh, Mayajima's prominent loudspeakers have been seen outside of Japan. They use antique Jensen A12 field coil mid-range drivers or full range woofers uh, that have been refurbished. They use antique Electro Voice um, compression driver tweeters with also, that's not a plastic horn, that is a resin Electro Voice horn. In the back of this open baffle, red, Japanese red pine wood cabinet is on the floor at the back is a tube power supply designed by Mayajima to drive to um, energize the field coil driver. There's also on the side in the back a paper and oil um, traditional uh, crossover for the tweeter. Those are 25 and a half thousand. Uh, they run into the Mayajima OTL amplifier. Um, this they are stereo amplifiers. Um, they come with a feedback switch, so you can have them with no feedback as you're listening now, and they put out about six watts, or if you flick feedback into the circuit, you will get 12 watts. Um, you can also buy another one and flick a switch and get monoblocks with 16 and 22 watts of output. Uh, that is uh, fronted by the Mayajima W01 pre full function preamplifier, Two phono inputs, one of them's loaded, loadable. Um, it doesn't have a volume control. It has an active gain tracking device, um, which is why the meter's there. So you can um, take the two 6S and 7s that make that voltage amplifier that controls the volume, precise. Um, into that goes the brand new Mayajima MC2 uh, tube two-stage head amp. I was shocked at how much better this is than any uh, tra step-up transformer I own, and I own a lot. Uh, the amount of dynamics, detail, uh, and air that this produces is incredible. Obviously, that you can get more noise if you're not very careful with your cabling. Um, it's an active device. Uh, it uses NOS 6922 tubes. Feeding all that is a custom bespoke uh, VPI HW40 drive mechanism. Uh, VPI, let me use these for custom tables I design. That is bolted to two inches of um, Pennsylvania slate. So there is zero vibration. If you put a stethoscope on this table, you would hear nothing. That is on top of a, um, a void three. I've done that, by the way, for my uh, video, video channel. I, I had a mechanics uh, stethoscope, and that's how I went around the test turntables. So. Yes, yeah, it's a good tip. Um, the base has all the electronics in it. Uh, those arm boards are bolted to the base through the slate. They don't actually touch the slate. So they're coupled to the bottom Baltic ply base and its feet, but there's no contact with the arm boards. Um, now, very special. Uh, this is the world premiere of the Thai Scandinavian engineering bird tone arm, that is the back left, and the bird of prey, that is on the right. They are magnetically stabilized, <laughs> viscous damped unipivots but they feel and work like gimbal tone arms. Um, the bird of prey comes standard with either a surface mount or SME mount, your choice. It comes with the 12 inch straight fixed head shell arm wand and the 12 inch J SME connector arm wand, the standard comes with 1.8 meters of cable. The cable can be supplied single-ended, yeah. balanced, or field coil, your choice.